Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm one of the charge nurses in theatre recovery at Gloucester Royal Hospital. And I've worked here for over 20 years. Um, in that time, I've also done anaesthetics and intensive care unit. Uh, I'm also a nurse prescriber. I'm here to talk to you about uh, how to set up a noradrenaline infusion and how to titrate the infusion and also how to double pump uh, the infusion. I'll introduce you to my colleague. Um, hi there, my name's Nick. Um, I'm a recovery nurse. I've been here for seven years. Uh, it's a great team here um, and I work with Dan um, and I'm going to ask a few questions if that's okay. So we're going to talk about noradrenaline um, and why we would use noradrenaline with certain critically ill patients. If you could give us some more information. Okay, so we're doing this because um, over the last uh, two to three years, we've seen an influx of patients who are on noradrenaline infusion. Uh, traditionally, they use ephedrine and metraminol during surgery. However, in critically unwell patients, they are they, the preferred drug of choice is now noradrenaline. So we want uh, to empower our nurses to be able to manage the drug, manage the infusion. Um, we've also had a number of datixes relating to uh, the infusion not being set up properly. So uh, we want to ensure patient safety uh, when doing so. Okay, so what, what exactly is noradrenaline? Um, so, um, noradrenaline is a very potent drug that is used to maintain cardiovascular stability. Uh, it's used in critically unwell patients. It works on the peripherals and it also works on the heart. It's got the advantage over metraminol in that metraminol only works on the peripherals, uh, whereas noradrenaline, it works on the, on the heart as well. It uses the beta-1 receptors. Uh, so can I just ask, how do you set up um, an infusion for noradrenaline? So when you set up, uh, the first thing you need is a prescription signed by a, a doctor or a nurse prescriber. And if I'm around, I can sign it for you. The prescription will look like this. Make sure you've got the patient name, uh, patient MRA number, patient date of birth, and then check that with the patient risk label, make sure they correspond. Then if you open it up, it will tell you you've got a choice of three strength. For today, we're gonna be using a single strength, NORAD, which is at the top. You can also use double strength or quad strength, but we're gonna use um, single strength today. So the single strength comes in a box like this. It's an amp you, uh, it will say, no rides, always check the expiry date on the box as well as on the amp you. So this one expires in December, 2025. And it says four milligrams in four mils of noradrenaline. So we're gonna use that and to dilute it, we're going to be using 5% uh, dextrous. Um, so once we go our once we go our four four milligrams in here, we take 46 mils from the 5% dextrous to make a total infusion of 50 mils. So this is the infusion that you've drawn up. Make sure it's labelled. Um, and then you need a giving set just like this. Uh, connect it to here. And then uh, for the infusion, you need a pump like this. Uh, these pumps you can borrow from intensive care unit. You cannot use any other pump. These are especially designed. These pumps are, um, they have a drug library in them and um, they will say critical care. Um, they're user-friendly. A lot of people 
that have a fee of these pumps, but they're actually user-friendly. They do everything for you. So to use this, you can just press the, turn it on, and it will do like a self-test. It's plugged in, but it's saying battery low. I'll just make sure it's plugged in on the wall. Yeah, it is. And it opens the drive. So you pull this bit out and you turn it to the right. And it will say, please insert syringe. And this is your syringe you've made. So to open the door, you just flick, you just flick the door and then insert your syringe just like so. Pull this one back, put it back on that and then shut the lid. If you've done it correctly, it will say BD plastic 50 mil. If you've done it incorrectly, it will say please reload syringe. So you then press this button here and it will shut the um, pump there. It will ask you, do you want to use uh, last therapy? The answer is always no, do not use last therapy because you don't know what the last therapy was. You want to use your own therapy, which we're going to program into the pump. So we click this button, the bottom button, no. It will then ask you, use drug library. So the answer is yes. We want to use the drug library because the drugs, all the drugs are used by the trust. They are already programmed in this pump. So we're going to go up to the yes button. And it will say all drugs. You then press this button to go on all drugs. Then you scroll down. We're going to scroll down to single strength noradrenaline. So it now says single strength noradrenaline. We then press here and it will tell us exactly what's in there. We then press here. So it will ask you for the patient weight. So for this part, you need this chart. Uh, this is, uh, we always use ideal body weight. So it will tell you, uh, it uses height. You have to know how tall your patient is. So if we say, for example, uh, myself, I'm uh, 177 centimeters tall and I am male. So you just go straight and it will tell me that my ideal body weight is 70 kilograms, but I'm actually more but it uses less. So always use uh, ideal body weight. So we're gonna put 70 kilograms in here. And we're gonna press okay. And it will come up with uh, concentration, uh, which is 80 micrograms per minute, then you press OK here. Uh, so to start, uh, it will ask you what dose you want to start it at. Uh, you can start it from 0 0.25 micrograms per minute, and you can go up to 0 0.5. We're going to start at 0 0.2. So we go where it says DOS and we go new point two. So new point two is um, 
less than 0 0.5. So we're going to hit the start button. And that's how you, um, how you set it up. Okay. So if the patient is re isn't responding appropriately, how would we um, titrate up and down? So if you want to titrate it up and down, um, remember I said uh, it's very potent drug, so do not stop the pump. You can um, uh, change the rate without stopping it. And the way you do it, you press this button here. It tells you um, how much is going at, which is 0 0.2. So you always go on the second digit after the dot. So we go one, two, we're gonna go on the second digit and we're gonna go up by two and you press okay. So it's changed now to 0 0.22. And if your blood pressure is still not coming up, you can still go, you, can, you have to go up very gradually. You can still go up. Remember, you need to go up from the second digit after the dot. So this bit here. So that's how you go up. And to go down is the opposite. You press this button here, so never stop it. You press this bit here. It tells you what it is, and you you go on the second digit after the dot and you go down to 0.22, you OK it. If your blood pressure is still high, press this button again until you find your uh, happy medium. So does the prescription um, allow for a range of um, titration? depending on the situation with the patient? Uh, yes, so as I said be before, I don't know if you can um, see here, you've got from 0 0.025 micrograms, you can go from there up to 0 0.5. That's your, you can play, it's uh, for example, the, um, the metraminol, you can go from zero to 20, so you've got that range. So on that one, you've got that range, 0 0.025 up to 0 0.5. Um, and if I understand it correctly, the pump is calculating the rate because uh, based on the patient's weight, as you said earlier. Yeah, that's right. And um, it's important to reiterate that the patient uh, has to be um, ideal body weight and not the actual weight of the patient based on their height? Based on their height, and the way you calculate that is uh, you use their height. There's a, a ready-made chart, you can just click, say um, it uses centimeters, 187 centimeters female, it tells you 75 kilograms is their ideal body weight. Okay. Um, and can I just ask another question? Yeah, um, why is it very important not to just switch off the um, the, titrate, the uh, infusion um, and when we would double pump, for example. Okay, so uh, the drug is very, uh, it's got um, what they call a half uh, shelf life. So as soon as you stop it, it's, it's, it's stopped working. So you cannot just stop it because it will just drop the blood pressure it doesn't, it gets metabolized very quickly in the body and it doesn't stay in the body for very long. So um, it's very important that you don't stop it without um, reducing it gradually until you stop. So as I understand it, you would have another um, syringe with the same strength set up ready to run on the second pump? Yeah, in that's normal right. Use. So when you, they do what, what we call, um, what they call um, double pumping. So all it means is you've got two pumps with exactly the same settings and you draw up exactly the same drug. But the difference is you're running this pump and this pump is not running. So once this syringe is nearly finishing, you've got maybe 10 mils or 5 mils remaining. 
you then start the second pump with a full syringe. So both pumps are running at 0 0.2. That will have an effect on your blood pressure. That will increase your blood pressure because you've now increased the amount of drug you're giving to the patient. So um, once that happens, you then start to reduce this one that's nearly finishing gradually until you stop it. And then this one will then take over. Okay. So when we um, infuse noradrenaline, should it always be used with um, like a bioconnector? Yeah, um, thank you for uh, mentioning that. It's always, always, uh, actually one of the uh, reasons why we normally get uh, date ticks is we don't use this simple thing. Uh, it can save lives. So once you do your infusion, make sure you connect it here. And then you connect it here as well. Uh, I'm glad you uh, mentioned that. Then you connect it here. So can you see that you got single entry to the um, central line? Um, I'll just mention also that the um, this infusion is only by CVC. Uh, you can give it peripherally if it's prescribed peripherally, uh, but you need a large cannula and it will be a different concentration. It's uh, four milligrams in 250 mil bag and you use a different pump. But for this infusion, you only use a central uh, venous catheter, which should be x-rayed. Um, so can you see that, that, that this is called a bioconnector? It's, it's got both pumps attached, but one is going and it's going through the same port. So when this one runs out, you then start the other one. So there's no, it's, there's uh, continuity. There's no um, stoppage in between. So on um, average, how long would you expect one of these syringes to last for? So it depends really what, um, what, um, what you're running at. So for example, you've got, New point two, this is uh, 10 mils an hour. So it depends if you're, if you're new point one or if you, if you find that your patient is requiring a lot of NORAD, you can go on to a double strength or a quad strength. Um, that should help with um, less drawing up. Okay. Um, do you have any other questions regarding? Um, I think we've covered everything nicely today. Thank you for listening. I hope it helps you with um, how to set up the noradrenaline and um, thank you.